We need to review. We booked our vacation on Holland America. We booked here to Alaska. We booked the shore excursion where I could go out and catch my own fish. We've caught the fish. The fish was brought on board. We have now cleaned the fish. The fish is ready to be cooked before its final step, eating. Did I get all this right? That's right. Well, I'm reading a teleprompter, chef. You see, it's right there. The word, it's very easy, you know. <laughs> all right, so what do we do? So, so the salmon's ready. This is Alaska king salmon, right? Yes. And there's different types of salmon? Forgive yes. my ignorance. Actually, in, in Alaska, we get like a few varieties of salmon. So we get like a coho salmon. Coho, yeah. And we get a keta salmon. Got it. And we have sukai, copper river, and uh, <laughs> it just keeps going. So it just like we have like a six, seven varieties of salmon. But the king salmon has a distinct taste. Why is it called king salmon? Do they cover this in the materials? Because they're big in size. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So actually, the king salmon is, is comes from the family of the coho salmon. So the coho king salmon or the keta king salmon. So these are the two king salmons. They can really grow bigger as well. Bigger. More. Perfect. Yeah. What are we gonna do? So, Again, simple preparation here, yes. right? All right. So what we're going to do is, is we already cleaned the salmon, so now I have the pan hot ready. So normally what I do is always keep the pan hot before we start cooking it. Okay. So I'm going to start marinating the salmon first. Okay. So let's go with the, a little bit of fresh pepper. A little pepper. Yep. I prefer to use the pepper mill yep. rather than the pepper powder. Why? Because uh, this has a more flavor. Huh? Okay, then we have this uh, salt. Oh, wow. It's a good looking salt. Then we just turn it on. Yep. It's funny, it matters what order, correct? Yes. Because you don't want to handle this fish too much. You really do. You put it on the thing, that's it. We want to get into this pan and start cooking. Yeah, exactly. So you did skin side up. We did skin side up. Oh, with the salt and pepper. It doesn't matter any side, the skin or the... Well, come on, chef. Side. I got to dramatize a little. <laughs> of course it matters. Everything we do matters. Are you kidding? Any kind of oil, olive oil, what do you... Just an olive oil. It's always nice to use a fresh lemon. You yep. know, just put a little bit of fresh lemon. The thing is, once you use your lemon wedge, so make sure that you're just not leaving your marination for a longer time because it's going to start cooking. It's going to cook. Yes. Okay, now I have the pan here. You always start with the skin side first. How hot is that pan, chef? Oh, uh, you can touch it. <laughs> <laughs> What we're gonna do, I'm gonna crush some garlic. And I'm gonna throw some garlic inside. The garlic always has a, a beautiful flavor. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm also have some fresh herbs dried down here. So I'm gonna grab some fresh thyme. The thyme is a beautiful herb. You know, mm -hmm. you don't have to really chop it. You just put the whole thyme inside. So now you can smell. Yeah. Oh, you can talk, yeah, you can smell it. Oh my gosh. So that's the flavor of the Then you just turn, make sure the skins get a little bit so sweet. And then you turn it off. Is that garlic burning? Yes, a little bit. It is. You want it to, yes, a little bit. I want to get the flavors of the garlic. Yeah. So that's why you put the whole garlic inside. You, right. So you just, and the very important thing is the pan needs to be hot. It's not that you start with a slow fire. We just sear the meat yeah. so that the juice stays inside. It stays inside. It stays if, inside. if the pan is hot enough, it exactly. will. If it's not, if it's not, then you it's see. gonna you're gonna lose it. Exactly. And you'll know when you taste it. Then you're gonna throw a little bit of butter. Nice. Because the butter, make sure you have to always put it at the end because you don't want to put it in the beginning. Then it's gonna start burning it. And then you just throw it around. Then you get all the flavors inside. So now you have all the flavors, you can smell it. Everything, yeah. Wow. Wow. So it's, that's how you cook the salmon. That's, that's how you do it. <laughs> Technique, obviously, but yet anybody watching, there's no... There was no, there's no trickery here. There's yes. no, we didn't skip anything. That's right. You saw everything that we just did in a matter of three minutes, four minutes. Okay, so now this is ready to flush in the oven. Okay. Because the salmon is a quite huge turn on size, you know. Yep. So you can't finish it up all the way in the pan. 
because then your outside is going to be overcooked. It'll be overcooked. And the inside is going to be still raw. Got so it. So that's why it's better to when you have an oven inside, especially just throw it off in the oven. So just turn it around one more time. How hot's that oven? Yeah, the oven, the water set it is like around like a 300 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Perfect. So you're going to flash it for like a few minutes. And did you say these were 10 ounce? Yes. They're probably 10. Yeah. So if they're 10 ounce and this thick, yes. you cannot, anybody watching can eyeball that and say that's about, that's about an inch to an inch and a quarter, yeah? Yes. How long was that fish in that pan cooking total? Um, in the pan, we just only seared both the sides. So mm -hmm. now what we did right now is we call it a searing. You know, mm -hmm. the searing is a process of sealing the meat outside. Got it. So we just have to cook the skin to make sure they're a little bit crispy. Then we cook both the sides so that they just stays for like, kind of like a two, three minutes or less than two, three minutes. So Perfect. then once you see the both the sides are getting cooked all the way, then we just take it out. Okay. So now this one, what are you going to do is now we're going to flash it in the oven now. So we have yeah. to get the rest of the plate ready. Yeah. So you already have some arumula sauce. So, One of my favorites, yes. Okay. We have shallots, we have parsley, Got we it. have a chopped egg inside. Okay. Then egg, and we just mix it everything. And we also put a little bit of garlic, lemon juice, then just mix it everything together. Perfect. What is that over there? Which one? Never mind. Okay. All right. So That's now I also have some vegetables, which is already a branched and kept it. So now I have some uh, baby potatoes. Oh, now wait a minute. You said these vegetables are blanched, meaning yes. they're, so what would the that be like? So basically we just, uh, we just cook it in the hot water. We just boil the water, just flush the vegetable, just for two, three minutes, just like a half cook. Because if you, because, right, because if you start raw here, you're going to end up with raw vegetables exactly. that are just kind of warm. Exactly. Okay. So that's right. Same thing with the potatoes? Same thing with the potatoes. Okay. Meat. So we're going to heat the pan now. So meanwhile, I'm going to chop some garlic again. All right. So we just need a little bit of garlic, not much. All right, we did a little garlic, okay. a little olive oil. Now we're gonna throw some olive oil again. Can I ask a question on this recipe? Yes. There's no onion anywhere. Yes. Why? So actually we can also use an onion. So because what we had this, uh, the recipe what we had is, I just wanna use only the garlic. Yeah. Because the you onions, we can also use the onions. Because what I think is when it's just the garlic, it's always nice with the salmon. Yeah. Garlic that goes well with the salmon. I always think, oh, we have to put onion. No, you don't. You yeah. leave it out because it's not, really it's not gonna help us. It's not. If you're gonna have like a vegetables or a sauce or something, yeah, but if it's just for this, you don't need it. Got it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some fritters inside. Okay. Then I'm gonna have some uh, baby carrots. Delicious carrots. So then we're going to add some herbs inside. So what I'm going to use again, some fresh thyme. Okay. So thyme is always a beautiful herb. I'm going to chop some of the thyme herbs here. Okay, so to get a little bit of um, what you can do is for the moisture, because when you cook any vegetable, you need some moisture inside. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're going to add a little bit of white wine. Because the white wine always gives a nice flavor in usual. Then we can add some asparagus, few asparagus inside. Then we have some broccoli. So now we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. Now, we see the butter, we mean, means we're getting close to the end. That's right. right. We just want to make it a little bit of roasted, you know, mm -hmm. so it gets a nice, you know, roasted kind of. We don't make it like a sauteed vegetable. No. Because when you eat with a broiled salmon, so what happens is when you just have like a garlic roasted vegetable, it's really nice. You get the, and you get the crunchy and the crispy. Exactly. Because that fish is so uh, buttery. That's right. And smooth. So that's basically your vegetables are almost ready. So it can test it. You know, all we have is just the garlic inside. You know, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of wine, and the thyme inside. And that's it. It smells amazing. Not you, the vegetables. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, you <laughs> smell great too, but it's awkward. Okay, okay this is it, is right? Already. Oh that's my gosh. Right. Here we go. 
<laughs> the best way to eat the salmons is always a medium rare. You need to have a little bit of the rare part inside, then you get the, the nice flavor, flavor of the salmon. Yeah. Because you can also have a medium, so then once it goes after the medium rare to medium, what does then it do? It just turns kind of just it gets more flaky, and flaky dry. and dry. And yeah. dry. So exactly. you don't want to have a salmon overcooked. You know? No, so. chef, we're coming to my second favorite part: the plating. The That's first right. part being the eating, obviously, but <laughs> plating, right? Very important to plate. Take a minute to plate. That's right. White plate, simple plate. That's because right. we let the food do the do the talking for us. Yes. You know? So. Yeah, we cooked the vegetables over here now. We have the salmon and we have this remoulade sauce. Okay. So now we're going to bring it all. I have some extra ingredients as well over here for the plating. Okay. So which is the fried rice noodles. And we also have in the kitchen, we always call it as the herb oil. Okay. So the herb oil is basically, it's a mixture of all the herbs inside. We cook it with the oil uh -huh. and we strain it. Oh, wow. So then it gets a nice perfect green color and it goes nice for the plating. Perfect. And we need it with the salmon, it gives a nice flavor. Okay, so now we're going to start with the plating. Okay. So I have these two white plates here. Mm -hmm. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange these potatoes down here. In the center. Then we're going to make like a two plates. Okay, I think of I course, put, of course, I there's put ten. Exactly. Of course, yes. <laughs> it's not your first uh, day, chef. So then I have this. Make it look so easy. Some carrots around. I think my kitchen would be on fire by now. Like, uh, surely something would have happened. I would have tripped over the cat. Like, you just <laughs> you made this simple. It's important to note that this king salmon dish or something like it would be served in the Pinnacle Grill, right? Yes. So we also, in the dining room as well, we have a salmon every day in the dining room menu as well. On plus also on the Lido market as well, we have the salmon every day. So now we have the, all the ingredients on there. Love it. So now we're going to put the sauce over here. My right? favorite. Do you have perhaps a to-go cup? Because when we're done with this, perhaps we can just put that to go for me. Because this is my favorite thing okay. in the whole world. <laughs> oh my gosh! And so, it shows. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Okay. Then the final one. We have some rice noodles. What okay. I have here. Oh wow. On the top like sure. this. Sure. You know, it really looks nice for the plating. You know, Stunning. This, this little rice noodles, you know, it gives a nice crunch taste as well when mm -hmm. you're having it to your salmon together. Then, like I said, this herb oil. Oh, you wow. Just go a little bit around. The rice noodles kind of look like my hair when I was fishing for the fish. So this is... <laughs> Never use the herbs which are not used for the cooking. So you always use the herbs what you use for the cooking. Same. Right. Exactly. Got it. So Look at this. Then we have a little bit of the dill leaves. <laughs> Incredible. It's very simple. And a very easy plating. Somebody watching is like, okay, chef, it's not that simple, but uh, easy, fresh, and there is one word we're missing, which of course is delicious. Delicious. So we should, can we try, should we try it? Oh yes, try it. All right, you're gonna have a bite too. Yeah. How, do, how do I, what do I do? Go this I'll way? Just go this way, that's yeah, right. That's it. Oh no, that looks incredible. Okay, still messing around. Come on now. Wow. That's a wow. Can you taste, I can taste how fresh that fish is. Yeah. Can you? It is. You, that, the palate that you have, I'm interested in. Yeah. Salmon. Yeah, you really can taste that. The freshness. That's, that's incredible. Everybody has to do this. Play much. Mm. Thank you for this. Oh my God. I'm just gonna sit down and eat. No. I know you have work to do. <laughs> Good to meet you, Chef. Thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. Man, special thanks to Chef VJ. He brought his A game. This is all delicious. I'll just be knocking this out. <laughs>